Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy PJ2 Hot here. I'm back for another video, and today I'm doing a review of WWE 13. I know this is late. I meant to do this a long time ago, but I just got busy and busy, and I didn't have enough time to really get it out. So now that I have time, and I have a lot of time today, I'm gonna do a review. Um, oh yeah, and my storylines. For those of you wondering where my storylines are, they are coming. They are coming. I'm working on it right now, and I'm almost done. And I'm hoping. I am hoping to have it up today. If not today, I'm hoping I'm hoping to have it up tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Um, let's see. Oh yeah. The, of course, we all know this game, which is a fantastic game, is about the Attitude Era. It's based on the Attitude Era, and um, it lived the revolution. You know, CM Punk, the best in the world, on the cover. Huge fan of CM Punk. Um, can't wait for the Royal, um, can't wait for the Royal Rumble. Uh, and like, I do want to have a. I'll make a video about the CM Punk and Rock feud. So hopefully, like, hopefully, and my, and may, maybe after this video, I will record another video about the CM Punk and Rock feud and what I think about it so far. Because I'm very entertained by it. I think it's going to be great. So, you know, anyways, though. The, the, okay, the game's based on the Attitude Era. It has a lot. It has, like, I think 30 Attitude Era superstars. I'm not a lot. But with the DLC coming out, there's more. And, um, it, I think, um, I... All the DLC has already done came out, and I, and I like them all. It's great DLC. The moves pack was great too, but um, first off, let me get to the attitude error mode. That the attitude error mode is great. This game, the attitude error mode is great. I was disappointed in some of the scenes I've seen. Like Kane's debut was very disappointing, and um, Amy Mankind won the WWE Championship on Raw. That was disappointing. The cutscene. I mean, it was it, it, like cause in, in in this mode, it didn't happen. Nothing like it happened in real life. Let's get to the Kane debut. When Kane debuted, Shawn Michaels was in the ring with blood all over his face, and Paul Bearer came out with him. All right. In WWE 13 added to their mode, Kane came out. All right, he came out. Shawn Michaels was standing outside the ring with no blood on his face. He's with no blood on his face. He's just standing outside the ring, like what in the world, like that. And then Kane comes out with not with no Paul Bearer. Um. They had JR do the commentary, which was no problem. JR is a great commentator. Don't get me wrong. He's like, I mean, he is the best commentator of all time. He's a legend. But when that happened, JR didn't commentate. Mr. McMahon did. I, I think I think I'm right. Mr. McMahon did. That's gotta be Kane. That's gotta be Kane. That's what Vince McMahon was saying. JR wasn't commentating on that night. I don't think he was. He wasn't commentating on that night. Vince McMahon was commentating. Um and then, you know, Kane came in, it happened way too fast. He just came in the ring, got in the ring, choked some on Tucker, got back out. What they did do right, the the cell part, the cell when he, when he tore the when he tore the door off the cell, that was great. And then when he threw the referee into the um into the cell, great, perfect. When he got in the ring, it was perfect. It's just right that moment, at that moment when Kane, it just happened too quick. Like it just it was a quick cut scene that he left and then Sean Marcos got back up and then started fighting. That didn't happen. See what happened was when when Undertaker got Tombstone, Shawn Michaels was already like he was knocked out, and then I can't remember who came out. Somebody came out. Was it? Ah, shoot, I think it was Triple H came out. That's why I think um, Triple H came out, and he put Shawn Michaels over the Undertaker. One, two, three, win. That's why I think. I, yeah, yeah, I think it was Triple H. Somebody did come out and then put it was Triple H, I think, and then Shawn Michaels, you know, was you know was just knocked out and he can barely even see, but um. But uh, besides that, um, that was kind of messed up, you know. And then when I mean, Mankind became on um, um, WWE champion, see what happened. See in the game, it was just Vince McMahon that was out there. In, in real life, what happened? It was the Corporation and DX were both out there in the ring. I mean, outside the ring watching the match. When Mankind puts the rock, rock in the mandible claw, um, in the claw, you know, Mr. Sacco. Ken Shamrock comes in the ring for steel chair, hits Mankind. Then Billy Gunn gets in the ring and tackles um, Ken Shamrock outside the ring. Then as they're fighting, Stone Cold's music hits. The crowd goes crazy. The arena erupts. Stone Cold comes out, hits the rock in the head for steel chair, Lee puts Mankind on top of the rock, and then walks out. And then, one, two, three, Mankind becomes, becomes the WWE champion. And that moment is what made WWE beat WCW ratings. That moment is when WWE beat WCW. It was over. They won. Um, in the game, it was just Vince McMahon was the only one out there. 
and then Stone Cold just comes out, Father Still Chill, just comes out in this Austin 316 shirt, you know, he just like that, and he just starts beating up on Vincent Man. That's for me. For me, he just came in the ring and then beat up on Vincent Man. And then he just walked out. I was like, what? That was like disappointing. That was very, I was, it didn't happen nothing like it did in real life. That was just totally wrong. But uh, I, I was, ah, I'm stuttering like crazy. I was disappointed in that. That really did disappoint me. But besides that, added to their mode is a great mode. One of the best, you know, build modes I've played in a while. Road to WrestleMania last year was not that good. It was, it, it was kind of good, but it just, it was too many backstage fights. That just got me kind of pissed off. Them backstage fights was just too much. But um, this game is a great game. Um, I. I have a lot more to talk about it. Create a superstar. We already know that's good. Create a finisher. I wish they added a new move and finisher. We've been dealing with them same moves. Create a ground finisher. Like, I, I ain't talking about like a submission. Like, submission. You know, I don't like people, but like, create a submission. I don't really see how that's going to work. You know, like, because, like, I don't really see, like, how, how that's going to work. Like, what you going to make? An ankle lock slash. Uh, ankle lock slash. What's sim? I don't know. STF. I have no the, the STFU or ankle lock, uh, uh, ankle lock slash Kamora lock. I don't really know. Just some stuff like that. That's just like I don't really like see an ankle lock slash walls of Jericho. I don't really see how that's gonna work. Now a ground move like let's say somebody want to make their own version of the rock bottom, something like that. You know, like when you go to the ropes or you or like you want to make your own springboard move. Or like you you get up in front of them and you do that and then he, and then like you might have to do the little the rock thing like that. Run to the ropes, jump off, and do the Chris Jericho line salt, or do something like that. I can see them doing that. That's what I want. I want a ground move, not a submission. I can't really see how that's gonna work. I, I wouldn't mind it. I would love it, but right now I cannot see how creative submission is gonna work. I can see create a ground move, you know, something like that. Like, like I said, just have somebody stand over them, have the person do a taunt, like, like just say, like get get over them, almost at the rock bottom. But then instead of doing this. Have somebody go like that, like the Undertaker, like that. Then look both ways. Go to the other rope. Bam. Go to the other rope. Bam. Then just come back and do like a front flip in the air. Or do something like that. Or come back and do a leg drop. Come back and do a little stone cold, little, you know, elbow drop thing. Do something like that. I could really see something like that. You know, I could see that. But I cannot see, like, anything else. I can I cannot see that. Um, besides submission law, I can't see that. I can see a ground move. On a, on your back, like laying down on your back, or, or and I can see a ground move laying down on your stomach. You know what I mean? Just some stuff like that. But really, um, laying down on your stomach, either going back and forth to the ropes, or having them do your own type of having them, like he laying on his stomach, and then like you, like grab them, and then do like this little special DDT, or create your own stuff. Just do something like that. I can see that. That's why I won't. I get tired of having these same um. This is we've had these same type of creative finishing moves since CBR 11, on um, where they added the uh, I think I think I think it was CBR 11. I, I think it was CBR 11 where you can add the uh, top rope finishing moves. They had that, you know, but in in WWE 12 they didn't add. They, unlike they added new animations, I think if they didn't, they just smoothed them out. This game, new animations for finishers are there. That's a good thing about that. They did add new animations so you can create new type of finishers. But just having the same type of finish, like you, I want to make a ground move. You know what I mean? That's what I want to make. But great, great creative finisher. Move set is great. Uh, creative interest movie is great, but it should be improved. Creative interest movie is good, but like, but like, I want to have more creativity to uh, create my interest movie. Like creating the mini trial. I want to change like stuff up, stuff up, and stuff like that. I want to mind that, but yeah. And then like, and some people be like, well, well, how about create your own theme music? I see people say that I can't really see that happening. Either. I could kind of see it, but the, but but the only way I can see that is if you like getting other stuff from other people's theme songs, like Undertaker's theme, Aunt Kane's theme, or Rock's theme, and then mix them together, and then mixing them together to create one whole thing. I can see that, but yeah, that would be pretty good move mode. But Creation mode is absolutely great. Create a championship, which is really title editor. It's not really all that great. It's good, but ain't all that great. Um. All you do is change the colors of the titles. You know, at least they brought it back. And, like, at least you can name it now. You can name the title and then the announcers will announce what the title name is. I like that. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad they added that. And creative, well, title editor, you know. 
next year for WWE 14, which yeah, um, like I know THQ is in bankruptcy, but they did confirm that that there is still plans to release WWE 14. So for that game, um, for that game, I have to say I would love to see them bring in um, what, what was I just talking about? Oh, yeah, create a title back. I mean the official create a title, not no title editor where you just change the colors. I want create a title back. That's what I want. That's what I want. So good job with that. We you know with you know other moves. Universe mode. We need more cutscenes. I just need. Wait a minute. Did I already talk about universe mode? I can't even remember it. If I did, I'm about to talk about it again. But um, we need more cutscenes. Create a show is great. This is no more cutscenes. You know what I mean? I want more cutscenes. But uh, um, but but like I said, universe mode is a great mode. It's it's fun. It's, it's fun no matter what. You, no matter what, I'm like you're gonna have a great time with it. Now if I already talked about it, my bad. I'm talking about it again. But uh, it's a great mode though. I enjoy universe mode. Um, I say add to me mode was good. Oh yeah, community creations. Are you guys having problems with community creations? Lately, I've been having problems with community creations. I've been having a lot of problems. These problems like where it just, it just, um, I can't really explain it. It's like, oh yeah, I, I, yeah, I can't like, it, it doesn't load up. Like community creations, I get onto it and it's, it's like the logo spins and it doesn't load up. It says network connection error. It, it wasn't happening before, but now it's happening a lot. And then I get to like a, and then like, I'm like if it loads the creations up when I try to download them, it won't load it up. It'll say network connection error, and then it'll sign, it would just sign me out. It just gets annoying. I'm getting tired of that. Uh, tired of that. And like THQ, fix this. If it like if it's happening for all of you guys, fix it. Cause I hope THQ fix this because they're trying to fix some other stuff too, which is taking forever to fix. You need to hurry up. But um, so hopefully. They fixed that. If that's the problem with y'all, so like in the comments, let me know if y'all having the exact same problem with the community corrections. Because right now I can't download nothing. You know. Um. And okay. Now after that, see what else I got to say. The DLC is great. I like the DLC. The only uh, some of the some of the entrances was wrong, uh, but it's not much of a huge big deal. Let me tell you one. I'm gonna tell you one. I wrote one entrance that was hugely disappointing. Kings. What was that, man? THQ, what, what's that? What is, what is this? I mean, you go back and you, people complained about Kane's interest in WWE 12. It wasn't really that bad to me. It, was, it wasn't all that good, but it really wasn't all that bad. It's the only thing I didn't like is when Kane put his knee up on the um, apron to get into the ring. I didn't like that, but it didn't, it really, it didn't really bother me that much. But So, okay, THQ gave, gave, decided, okay, we're going to get rid of that interest. They, they got rid of that interest. They go back to CBR 11, take take his entrance from CBR 11, and then put it in in WWE 13. What what, what what makes me upset is Kane came back in December 2011 with his mask. You get his mask in the game, but you don't get his entrance right. His entrance. You get his mask, but but you don't get his entrance isn't right. Chris Jericho and Brodus Clay. You got theirs right. You, you got theirs right. Then you THQ. Chris Jericho's and Brodus. Yeah. And Brodus Clay's entrance is is right. They came back after Kane. Kane returned before both of them, and you get their entrances right, but you don't get Kane's right. That's I'm not, not trying to nitpick and complain, but that's that's unacceptable. That's ridiculous. All right, that's literally ridiculous. It, it doesn't make any sense why you would just take like it doesn't make any sense. Chris Jericho and Brodus Clay returned after Kane. They came after Kane came back. Kane came back before them. Chris Jericho came back on the roads like around January. Kane came back in December. You get Chris Jericho's entrance right, but you don't get Kane's. You just get lazy and they go get his 2011 entrance and then throw it in there and just give him his little metal mask and say, there you go. Come on now. Let me make sense. I was looking so much forward to Kane's entrance. I was hyped up. I'm waiting for you to release his entrance. And when you release it, I waited all that time to see an entrance I had saw in CBR 11. It doesn't make any sense. So that kind of got me upset. But I, after that, Kane's Kane's model thought they did a pretty good job. His mouth a little bit it gets, it gets it's like big, like when he's like smiling, his mouth just gets huge, and then he have his mouth open like that. His mouth just gets wide open, it looks like a like you can just shove your fist down his mouth like that into his throat. It's what it just looks like. His mouth is just huge in the game. That's the only problem with it. Um, but besides that, they did, a good, they did a good job on Kane's model. They even got the hair like it is in real life. His hair looks like a wig, you know, like it is in real life. 
But good news though, I've seen, you know, um, Kane is growing his hair back out, so soon that wig is going to be gone. So his hair is getting pretty long too, so it's a good thing Kane is growing his hair back out, and that wig is going to be gone. But, um, anyways though, uh, I see, that's pretty much all I have to really say about this game. It's, it's a great game, and you guys are going to enjoy it. The ring, the, the sound effects are a lot more better, the ring sounds more realistic, the crowd is great. The commentary is not as good as they said it was, but it's a, it's a, it's a, an improvement. It's an improvement, but it could have been a lot better. You know, the commentary isn't all that great, but it is an improvement from the past games. Um, and it, and let's see what else they have. Um, the only thing I was upset about, I hate that the fact that it's not that Jr. is not commentating on on expedition mode, only in added to their mode. Cause like, if you get like um, the Raw is War Arena, it doesn't matter which one, any of them. It's it's still Jr. I mean, I mean it's still King and Michael Cole are still commentating. I wish like for modern arenas, like today's arenas, for modern arenas, for the current arenas, you have Michael Cole and King commentate. But for Attitude Era arenas, you have Michael Cole and Jr. I mean, nah, you have King and Jr. commentate on Attitude Era arenas, but Michael Cole and King commentate on current arenas. I wish they did that, but they don't do that. They just have the same commentators. They, they, the same announcers too, they still have like today's announcers announcing back down like this is like wow man. At least get like Howard Finkel to, to do it, you know. But um anyways though. That was really my review. I can't really say hold on. I'm trying to think for some more problems to let you guys know. Besides it's it's a glitchy game, it's a lot of glitches in it too. So I let so I, I let, um let you know that right now it's glitchy. Let's see I don't really see really any more problems with this game. It's a great game. I'm I'm not trying to review every single thing because like you already know some of those stuff are good. Oh yeah, create arena. But before before I'm done, I about forgot. Create an arena. Good job, THQ. Good job. You did a fantastic job on that. I give you credit. Thumbs up for create an arena. Huge improvement. It is literally now create an arena. No more create a ring like it was last year in W12. It is now create an arena. Um, I'm trying to rush it a little bit because my battery on my camera is getting ready to go dead and. You know, so like, um, hopefully, like, I might do a video about that CM Punk and Rock feud either today, either today or tomorrow. Most likely tomorrow, cause I gotta charge this camera up, and it kind of takes a little bit for this camera to fully charge up. So it might be tomorrow. I'm not too sure. I can't give you a positive answer about it or not. But um, really looking forward to next year's game. Right? I mean, I, I'm saying like that. Like I always look forward to each game after another, and I'm looking forward to 14 because it's like you know, Chase Q's in bankruptcy, but they did confirm 14 is in development. So hopefully they kind of go to the next level. Um, whether they use attitude error or not, I'll just go to the ruthless aggression error if you know what that is, you know. But um, hopefully they just do something pretty good with that. But um, with that game. But anyways, though, um, it's really like Create Arena is great. I made the uh, Raw Arena, the SmackDown Arena. You know, it just looks. It looks great. The only thing about the SmackDown Arena is the SmackDown Arena has it's on this huge stage, and like you can't make it make all stages on the same level. Like on the ground floor, you gotta have like an actual ramp to walk up. And the SmackDown 2006 or 2002, three arena, whatever it was, was not on a uh, huge stage. It was on level ground. You know, it was on the, but you can't change that. But it's not much of a big deal. Who cares? You can create the SmackDown Arena. Who cares? But um. It's a good job. They did a good job on that. I found a lot of good arenas. I've seen people who create the Raw 1000 arena. It looks great. I've actually downloaded that. Uh, it was just really great. I've seen people make the, make, the, make the WWE main event arena. I've seen people make a lot of arenas. And they do a great job with it. This Saturday Night Slam. I mean, the Saturday Morning Slam arena, which I do not watch that show. I do. I, I just do not watch that show. But uh, anyways, though, that was my review for WWE 13. It's your boy, PJ2Hot. Peace.